Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting work on recapping Tanberg 3006A power amplifier. This is the second piece uh, from the Tanberg uh, preamp and amp, which I'm receiving for the service. Uh, the owner was super happy with the results with the preamp. So and now he shipped it amp for me uh, to do exactly the same, clean up, recap, make sure that everything works, tune as needed. All right, so that's where I will be starting work today. I will open it, I will pull up the boards and let's see how it was designed, how it's built inside and what you have to replace there, season. Hey guys, and here I open it, the amplifier, and remove it to dust a little bit. It was a heavily dusted. So we have two channels separately. This is a big, uh, I believe, uh, I don't see it, K175 and J55 transistors. And I see capacitor here, capacitor here. Same on the other channel, two capacitors here and power supply, smaller capacitors. And here is two channels of uh, amplification and then it's connected to the output cascade. And it's output power here. And here is the two large capacitors. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what those are. Looks like relay and one big relay here for the power. Very simple design like dual mono, one large transformer and cooling system which is built in so from outside it looks smooth. And here is the air entrance and exit right there. All right. And it's fully through, so lots of air can go over. All right, now I need to disassemble to pull up these boards and these boards and see how to get access to everything else. So let me do this and I meet you right there. Okay, next step I had to remove the power button because it was not working every single time. Now it's after cleaning and lubricating this pin, it looks like it started to work every single time. Even if I will put it upside down, it still work good. Oh yeah, now I can install it back. Uh, here is the board with LEDs, but it's connected uh, with the wires. So I'm still looking if I will just uh, remove these two screws and continue work without the front panel. This appears to be not related to capacitor 2.2 microfarad VIMA. 160 volts. All right. So here are the smaller capacitors, 10 microfarads and something else. All right, moving on, see you. Okay guys, uh, now power switch works really well. And here is the uh, capacitors. 80 volt, 15,000 microfarad, two of them. So I need to check with owner if he would like to replace them or just the smaller ones because this may be Super expensive. All right. So here is access to the capacitors, uh, which I show you, uh, which sits between the output uh, transistors. So one here, one here. So we have access. We have access to the board. So I decided not to remove them. Just recap in place, right here, and same right here. All right, then we have access to the board power supply, so same will go here. All right, 
So let me start. Let's see what I have, what I need to order. Okay, everyone, there are partially replaced capacitors and I'm ordering more capacitors here at 2.2 microfarad uh, by 100 volts and all other capacitors by 100 volts and just this one was 10 volts and I replaced it by 50 volts all right uh, moving on like why capacitors are of a higher values because each channel is driven with plus minus 75 volts so that's why this capacitor is by 80 volts that's why we have a high value for like power rail and as a result this should provide a really good sound because like with these high voltages and we would have a pretty quick curve and good currents all right So moving on, now I need to get to these small guys to see the values. These small guys here. And technically we should be it. I'm not sure about these polymer cups. I think it's time to replace, so let me see if I can find something similar. I was able to find exactly the same size large cups. However, replacement will be pain because uh, each uh, so it's, it's snap capacitors, so it uh, should be just snap in, but you see they have uh, multiple connectors, so they solder it, these big rails on top of each uh, pin. So, and that will require high power uh, soldering iron to replace this. And each of these costs like uh, 35 bucks plus taxes plus um, I believe like this would be about 80 bucks plus shipment just for this two all right so moving on I hope this uh, amp will come up well uh, it's quite easy to tune up with just three ports per channel and two of the ports are for the uh, mode when it, it just exceeds without any signal and just one for the maximum mode like when it produces maximum power like i believe 50 watts per channel all right and we just need to adjust them to have a minimal distortions why well, i don't have a four ohm load so I'll probably will use speakers which i don't I really uh, price high, but we'll see. All right, moving on. Wait for part two. Okay, guys, I'm also replacing a couple more capacitors in the power supply. These are 220 microfarad. This is 10, 10, and 10 microfarad here. I will order these two. I don't have. 400 volts and here I removed these capacitors but I mentioned that these are, are 105 degrees Celsius capacitors so let me see right here see so and I have just 85 so I, I'm ordering uh, more reliable capacitors I'm ordering for five thousand hours at 105 degrees celsius so the, the most reliable which i was able to find all right so what we have we have to replace these guys these guys 2.2 these guys here on both channels now the last i need to see is this vima mkp10 if I can find them, that would be perfect. And I'm ordering this too. See you. Bye-bye.